all thoughts inspired by the demons produced within us conceptions of sensory objects and in this way the intellect with such conceptions imprinted on it bears the forms of these objects within itself so by recognizing the object presented to it the intellect knows which demon is approaching for example if the face of a person who has done me harm or insulted me appears in my mind I recognize the demon of rancor approaching. If there is a suggestion of material things or of esteem, again, it will be clear which demon is troubling me. In the same way with other thoughts, we can infer from the object appearing in the mind which demon is close at hand, suggesting that object to us. I do not say that all thoughts of such things come from the demons. For when the intellect is activated by man, it is its nature to bring forth the images of past events. But all thoughts producing anger or desire in a way that is contrary to nature are caused by demons. For through demonic agitation, the intellect mentally commits adultery and becomes incensed. Thus it cannot receive the vision of God, who sets us in order, for the divine splendor only appears to the intellect during prayer, when the intellect is free from concessions, conceptions of sensory objects.